So I don't know about you guys, but lately in the last 12 months or so, we've been noticing this trend of Christian or faith-based movies coming out. And some of them have been good, some of them bad. You've seen movies like The Case for Christ. God's Not Dead. God's Not Dead, uh, Hacksaw Ridge, and uh, what's the last one that we're thinking about? Uh, Heart of, Heart of Man. Man. So we've actually done a couple of reviews of those. But in today's video, we wanted to talk about one of the movies that's out right now. There are two Christian movies out in the boxes right now. Um, there's one on the life of Paul and the one that we saw last night, which was? I Can Only Imagine. And uh, so we want to talk to you guys about our thoughts about that. So uh, Emily and I are heading into the movie theater right now. Uh, we're going to go watch the movie. I can only imagine. can only imagine. We'll let you know if it's any good. So we're buying our tickets a little late and uh, the movie is almost sold out. Yeah. Apparently it's like their most popular movie of the week, which is kind of crazy. You don't normally think about that for Christian films, yeah. um, but hopefully that's good news for the industry. So in a nutshell, Emily, uh, what do you think? Pe should people watch the movie or not watch the movie? Definitely watch it. It was really good. You enjoyed yourself quite a uh -huh. bit. Uh, and by the way, a word to the wise. If any of you guys are sensitive people like Emily, <laughs> uh, bring some tissues because at the end of the movie, you were, you were you were not doing so hot. Yeah, I actually gave a tissue to the lady sitting right next <laughs> to me right. too. So Bring some like, tissues. Bring some um, tissues for everybody. <laughs> but I didn't realize that this movie actually had, or this so the song, I can only imagine because it's based off of, you know, the guy's experience writing this amazing song. Uh, that you had such a personal tie to the song. Why don't you kind of share what that whole connection is about? Yeah, so this song came out probably in the early 2000s, um, so a long time ago, <laughs> probably when I was like 10 or 11. But anyways, um, this song has really been an anchor for me and a hope for me because it was played at my brother's funeral, like prior to the funeral starting, his friends sang it and they could barely get through the song because it's such a powerful message of hope that we can only imagine a place where one day we won't experience pain or suffering mm -hmm. or, or heartache. Um, so that's why like during the, when the song was going on, on in the movie, I was like, ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After the movie was over, there's one guy sitting and he's like, I could just watch this movie all night. And it, it actually, it was really good. It wasn't like, you know, a lot of the standard Christian movies that have come out in the last, like say decade or so, really cheesy, really predictable. Like there was, really good character developments. We thought that the story was good. They actually got some A-list like people in the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to see Dennis Quaid play the, the, the role of the abusive father, mm -hmm. which I think that he did a very good and convincing job. Mm -hmm. It was very, very powerful. Yeah. Um, but there was a lot that was really like relatable about this movie. For mm -hmm. me, it really kind of reminded me of my relationship with my dad. I've kind of shared with you guys, I've actually interviewed my dad on this channel before, that we didn't have the best relationships, that there were seasons in our life where it was an abusive kind of uh, house that we had lived in. And so for me, it was really powerful to see kind of just other people's experiences with that, but then really just to see the power of God mm -hmm. uh, transforming lives. Um, it's a beautiful story of you know, the process of him writing this song and the pain that inspired him to write this song and the beautiful working of how God can change hearts as mm -hmm. well. In there, the yeah, there's yeah. one point, and none of this is spoil spoilers because like his story has been very well known around, but there's this one point where the father uh, tells um, Toby, Toby, Bart. Bart. <laughs> Why did I think Toby? <laughs> there's one part in the movie where the father tells Bart, you know, you seem to have this knack for taking junk and making it like good again. And he, he basically says, yeah, there's a word for that. It's called, uh, I think he said restoration or something mm -hmm. like that. And that's what this movie is all about. It's about how God can change someone's life from being a monster to changing it to being someone that you could actually look up to. And, and uh, in the movie, he actually talked about how his father became one of his best friends. And mm -hmm. it's really cool to see that. It, to me, it was a great reminder of the power of God in a person's life, how he really mm -hmm. can change someone. Um, and I really related with it because there were moments where I had like hatred and animosity towards my father. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for God kind of softening my heart as well as God transforming my father's life, mm -hmm. like I wouldn't be able to enjoy a good relationship with him anymore. And so I saw that yeah. theme kind of running all throughout the movie and I really actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, it's a big movie about forgiveness and the power of forgiveness. Um, and it's, it was really powerful. Yeah, kind of part of this journey was how he was trying to make it as a musician. And one of the things that was holding him back was this unresolved, kind of buried in the subconscious of his mind, uh, this conflict that he had with his father and how it affected other relationships in his life. And how, you know what, 
when he was harboring those hard feelings mm -hmm. and choosing to not uh, forgive and to reconnect with his father, how it actually made his life more difficult and more yeah. challenging. It impacted all his relationships, even the good ones with his mm -hmm. girlfriend and yeah. all, all over the place. And, and yeah. it really made me think about the words of Jesus, how, you know, is talking about how we need to be able to forgive even our enemies. And that's not just only for our enemies' sake, so that they can, you know, be forgiven or whatever the case is, but it actually helps us. Mm -hmm. I think it was, was it maybe Buddha who said something like, you know, anger is like holding onto a coal, a hot coal, expecting the other person to get burnt. And this is why it's not good to be angry because it actually hurts you more than the other person. Mm -hmm. And so it was a really great reminder of just the wisdom of what Jesus was saying about how we ought to forgive other people and live the life that he has prescribed for us. We're big fans of the movie. We think that you guys should check it out. One thing that I, I want to challenge you guys, even if you're not movie goers, is like how you can vote with your dollar, how important that is. You know, we'll spend money on random things. You know, there's a Starbucks just down the street. You'll spend a couple bucks, you know, no matter, no, no problem. Or you'll sign up for Netflix or something like that. But when it comes to rallying behind the Christian community and supporting a cause you believe in, a lot of times we're going to be cheap with it. Oh, we'll download it through BitTorrent or we'll just wait for it to come out on DVD or something like that. But we want to challenge you guys, go out to the movies, buy a ticket, support this cause, or if you have movie pass like us, go out and watch it from, from movie pass because I think if we can see more movies like this, we're gonna be in a really good spot moving forward. So we enjoyed the movie. We think you will, and we wanna hear your thoughts down below. If you've seen the movie, what did you like about it? Or if you're not gonna watch it, why not? Let us know maybe how this song has impacted you in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, those are our thoughts on the movie and we can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.